that. Uh, hi guys, as Tom kindly said, my name is Peter Meehan, and I'm, I'm the last one on, so I think that's a good sign. Absolutely. Okay, I'm taking, out, I'm taking out the, out the compliments. Taking out the compliments. Okay. So basically, um, my objective is to talk about inbound marketing, to give you guys some strategies that you will go away with, to implement them, you will make money, and then hopefully you'll give me some of it. Okay? <laughs> That's the plan. All right. So, so um, you give us your business card so we can that you wire, can wire the money. Good, good. I get that a lot. So the uh, the objective is inbound marketing. Um, so it's something that can be expensive. Okay. Um, and my objective today is to go through some of the premium tools that we can use can use it and then also what are some of the free or cheaper tools that we can use to create the inbound marketing the inbound marketing strategy so I run a company basically people come to us they've got a very simple protocol it's how you gonna make us money okay now I have a, a browser open okay um, I also have them integrated the slides but I would like to show you some of these, um, some things that if you're not aware of, you could make note of. And before I start, is anybody in the room using a CRM system? Great, 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 great. Okay. Um, they work. It's, it's almost, I think it's almost impossible to run a business without one of these things. Okay. Now, I just to go through some of the, the applications here that we would use and we would implement the strategies with strategies clients. Now, the first one is, is this thing called Clavio. Now, Clavio is an email marketing system. Anyone, has anyone heard of this thing? No. Heard of it? Yeah. So, you, you will have seen it. I guarantee you've seen it loads of times. You go and you buy something and you fill out the shopping cart and you then abandon the cart before you actually leave. You get an email saying, you got to this point, you got this product, but you left. Okay? More than likely, Calibio was the product that was delivering that email. So we would use this for email marketing. It's not cheap, but you get what you pay for. Okay? The next piece of software is GetResponse. Now, GetResponse, again, is, now this is very much a CRM system. It's cheaper than a lot of the other ones you use around 30 quid a month, but it allows us to do just lots of, lots of things. That's a ways of gathering information about our customers. Now, the one that we use in the business is this thing called Salesforce, and you've probably, you probably heard of Salesforce. It is the mother load, okay? So if you've got the budget, you really want to try and use Salesforce where you can actually take your customers right through the entire buying journey, okay? Now, <clears throat> just working through, we, uh, as a business, we would adopt sort of a the Tony Robbins approach. And Tony Robbins is a big fan of reverse engineering. You find a product that works, you reverse engineer the life out of it. I almost used an expletive and then I realized I'm on, I'm on camera, so I pulled back there, okay? So, Tony Robbins is very much into reverse engineering. How do, how do we how do we reverse engineer a process? We need to know all the tools that those people have used to build their website. And this is where WordPress is absolutely perfect for this process. And we, uh, I have this, I think I have it bookmarked actually, and it's called builtwith.com. Okay? If you don't have a bookmark, bookmark it. Okay? Basically, what builtwith does, you can put any, any website into this thing. It does not necessarily have to be WordPress. And it'll give you every plugin, everything that was used to then construct that site. There are other versions, but in our, what we have found, this is the best. Okay? So we look at it, we look at websites that are good and then we can copy everything that they've done. Okay, so, and it's, it's free. So, um, and try it, try it. Put, on a, put on a site, and it doesn't have to be WordPress, but it works particularly good with WordPress, but if you've ever used any of those plugins that actually show you, the, the, any one of those websites that shows you the plugins that we used to build a WordPress site, they're always quite restrictive 
and then the quantity of plugins. Now, in order to capture, and I want to get into my slides very, just very quickly, in order to capture the email, okay, um, we find this thing is the best. Optin Monster, I think we've tried them all. So you're looking at here, um, hundreds of hours of research, loads of money wasted buying products that don't work, and this is the one that, that we have found does work. The pop-up windows, the screen takeovers, all those kind of things, integrating into your CRM. Okay, now, just getting into my slides, and I'm conscious about the fact that I'm on at the end, everyone starts, I want to just motor on through. So, inbound marketing, your website, uh, marketing your site, building your list, and then using the CRM system. So, those are sort of the key things that I'm going to talk about today. So, uh, inbound marketing, so why do we do inbound marketing? Okay. Ultimately, do it because we want to make money for ourselves or our clients, okay? And we want to get it done as efficiently uh, with time and money as possible. So, inbound marketing there's a proven strategy to generate leads. Traditional outbound marketing is expensive, and we are broadcasting to a mass audience like direct mail and such like. Whereas, inbound marketing, we can home in on very specific. Uh, people and goals. Okay, it starts ultimately with a marketing offer, something valuable, something to get people interested. Okay, I was watching, a, reading a very interesting article there last week, but to find interesting, and they were saying that the color orange is more uh, attractive to a person on a website than any other. So if you have banner and you make it orange, supposedly people are more inclined to click. Don't know if that's true or not. So. Um, inbound marketing guys, the traditional. So you've got cold calls, e cold emails, interruptive ads, sort of, they're very marketing centric. Inbound marketing, SEO, blogging, attraction, customer centric. So to, to me, the biggest one is SEO. That's why SEO has to be mastered. You have to learn this thing, okay? And whenever we finish, I'm gonna give you a lovely little um, SEO tip that uh, I will absolutely guarantee it will work. So in case anyone's thinking of leaving before I finish, <laughs> I've got a really good SEO tip for you. <laughs> anyone who leaves doesn't get it, by the way. Okay. <laughs> unless, you stop me, unless you stop me downstairs, I can't make it. No, no, you're not getting it. Okay, so inbound marketing, guys. So the actual methodology of all <coughs> inbound marketing, okay? And it's, it's something that you're doing but it's trying to, to track it, to, to take people along the buyer journey. So the first thing is, we attract people to your website with our, um, unfortunately it's a little bit uh, small here, but hopefully you can see it okay, the slides will be there. So we attract people with blogs, keywords, social publishing, okay? How do we convert people? We convert people with forms, call to actions, landing pages. This is where your squeeze pages then come into pages and to play those pop-up windows, all that kind of stuff. How do we close them? We close them with our CRM, our emails, our workflows, and then how do we delight people, surveys, etc. Okay. Now, and this is where WordPress integrates perfectly into this. We can get a plugin from GetResponse. It'll integrate into our WordPress site, so it can build this for us and help us track with their CRM. So inbound marketing, the fundamentals of a successful strategy. So customers don't want to be sold to, they want to be educated, okay? So we need to give them knowledge. Uh, this is not the, the nugget that I'm gonna give you at the end, but according to Michael Dean there, James, Brian Dean, we heard Brian Dean? Mm. Have you heard Brian Dean? Patrick. Yeah, SEO guy. One of the best sort of the top SEO people in the world. And he did the, this survey. And it was all about how the optimum uh, article or blog is between 1,500 and 2,000 words. So they did a survey and they said, so you're doing a blog and the blog is 1,000 words. His advice is, hold fire, get two of the damn things together and get out right there when there's 2,000 words and you will notice a dramatic difference. And uh, before I go, I'll do, I'll do a couple of generic searches in Google and see some of our blogs come up. So, inbound best practice, use a buyer's persona, 
understand the buyer's journey, create great content, le leverage the content, create great content. Like if only uh, somebody had told me that, like so easy. Huh? Now, creating the buyer persona, this will be based on actual results, not assumptions. Okay, but this is where we have to get them to the website. We have to get them signed up on the website. Then we can target them. Okay, SEO, SEO, SEO. Because I'm keen to do this without actually paying any money. I know Facebook ads are brilliant, but I'm trying to do it just with SEO at the minute. Now, the buyer's journey. So we have three stages, guys. We have the initial awareness stage. Okay, person really doesn't know what they want. Then there's a consideration stage. Okay, so we've got them onto our list. Then we've got the decision stage. Everyone's heard the saying that a person needs to see your brand seven times before they will make a purchase. Okay, seven times. And that is why the likes of your remarketing becomes absolutely key. Again, can be integrated to get response. Okay, now, inbound marketing guys, leveraging your content for distribution. Okay, what are the things that you're going to do to get people to purchase your product? You're gonna have your website, um, your shopping, I was gonna say Shopify, what are you doing? WordPress, WordPress website. At one of the meetups I, I queried whether Shopify was better than, than WordPress, and it was, uh, it was frowned upon. It was just a joke. <laughs> so um, WordPress is, is wonderful, okay? So you have your WordPress website, scalable, it's just, just perfect for inbound marketing. You've got your business blog that you're going to be putting out there, guys, with those 1,500 to 2,000 words. You're building those flows. Make sure you have an internal link, you have an external link, you use bullet points, you've got pictures. The correlation is essentially one picture for every 300 words and an effective blog. Okay. Now, go on ahead over to your landing page. So you're using, it doesn't matter how you do it, but you have to get them on that form some way. A quick call to action, and I want to. I might just deviate slightly to my own Big Rock site at the end, and I'll show you a call to action that we use, which has been highly effective. And then you've got your marketing emails. Now, what does inbound marketing look like? I think I have this slide. We've got our awareness stage, our consideration stage, and our decision stage. Now, establishing the buyer persona. So we're trying to identify what this person is actually looking for. Someone goes to Google, does um, an organic search. Do we have a piece of content on our website that is gonna answer the query that that person has put into a Google search? So this is where your long tail keywords come into play and you're generating your content based on those long tail keywords. So I'm sure you're one of the guys earlier on probably did the Google descriptive search. You put it in the letter and then you go forward type A, B, C. So that's really good for getting your keywords. Um, an even better source, I think, is YouTube. Go to YouTube, guys, don't take my word for it. Just uh, type in a word, then, for example, looking for Belfast, then do your A, your B, your C, your D. The YouTube results are amazing. And also, we get great value out of Bing, okay? So, totally unutilized resource when it comes for keyword research, and that's where we base all our long-tail keyword phrases on. Google Suggest, YouTube, Bing, okay? Another great one is Reddit, okay? And if you're not on Reddit, get on Reddit one. So, which language, or, sorry, this is the guy here. He has a potential customer. Luke wants to check if his iPhone has a liquid exposure indicator, okay? So, basically, which language would Luke be most likely to use in a search? Uh, where is the iPhone liquid exposure device indicator. I'm assuming this guy doesn't know what a liquid exposure device indicator is. Um, is there an iPhone water damage indicator? How to tell if the iPhone has water damage? How to detect the iPhone water damage? So the answer actually is C on that one. I probably could have worked that would be better, sorry about that. Okay. So I did my keyword research. I have written an article about how to tell if the iPhone has water damage. That is my blog post. That is my video, that is my content. Now, inbound marketing strategies, what are the things that we create in order to get people interested in our product, okay? There's nothing here that is, you know, out of the, out of the ordinary, okay? 
ebooks, guides, webinars, slideshows, templates, free tutorials. A lot of this stuff is complex. Um, I certainly don't know how to create a, a product demo. Okay. Now, some of the tools, guys, that we use, I think we use them really effectively to create this content, especially the likes of uh, just giving demos for people, is uh, Camtasia. Okay. If you have a product that you think you could create a video about and put it online and leverage that content, use Camtasia. Okay, it's about I think it's about 150 quid or something. You can create quizzes. Um, you can get people to sign up together. It's, it's a really super tool. Now, the guy that uh, in my world, which is the king of inbound marketing, is Tony Robbins. Okay, when you go home this evening, go to Tony Robbins' website. Just be on his site. Immerse yourself in the journey of Tony Robbins. Okay, and. Um, he will have about five different strategies on his homepage to get your email, and you won't even know that he's done it. It's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. He's using Salesforce, okay? And I use this piece of information, guys, about Salesforce, and I'm being recorded, so I hope that I'm right. Maybe you can add it out if I'm not right. Supposedly, the guy that owned Salesforce, Salesforce was at one of Tony Robbins' uh, presentations, he uh, went up to him at a break and said, Look, I've got this idea for this CRM thing. Business is going nowhere. Can you advise what I can do? Tony Robbins says, yes, do this, this, this. And he coached him, and then the rest is history. True story. It is true, is it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I read it. You probably told me that. <laughs> okay, guys. And when, so questions to guide the, the offer creation. Okay. Is this offer valuable to your target audience? Okay. Uh, It'll give your success a better chance if there is value. So sort of hold back for a second. Again, keyword research is so important. And identifying if someone is looking for it, then there is a, chance, a much greater chance of a success. Is the offer targeted to the right person at the right time? Now just moving on, again, the three stages, but I just wanted to break it down a little bit more and sort of break up these different sections. So the initial awareness stage, trying to educate people about your product. Okay? At this point, you're going to do ebooks. You're going to give them tips. And these actually could all be things that they do not have to actually subscribe to your website to get. You're just creating awareness. Ebooks, tip sheets, checklists, how-to videos, educational webinar. Okay? So you've got them interested. Now you're trying to get that email. Product, and they're going to have to sign up to get this stuff. A product webinar, case study, FAQ, data sheet, or the video, the demo video, they need the email to get it. Then, eventually, to make the purchase, you're going to give them a free trial, live demo, consultation, or some kind of cooked on offer. Feed them through the journey. Now, the inbound marketing, so I'm just looking here, guys, a good call to actions, okay? So, Social Media Examiner is, is a really, really good website. You, you may well have been on it, okay? They use um, Optin Monster for all their email capture. It's really good. Now, <clears throat> getting people, okay, to your site, they're on your site. If you use the wrong language, that person's gone, and you're not going to convert them, okay? And um, the correct language are words like discover, on earth, find. Be precise, be precise. Now I'm gonna show you my big rock site and I have got 200 SEO ranking factors. I wanted to go for an extreme number, I didn't want 10, 20, 30, 40. So we got 200 of these things together, put them on the website and it's been super for gathering emails. You'll see exactly what I mean. So the conversion path, okay. So we have the initial call to action. There is a landing page. We have the thank you page, and then sometimes a kickback email. This is something that really does my head in, where the amount of, look at all your own contact forms and your websites, and if you haven't got this done, fix it. And it's essentially, someone goes to your contact form seven, they put in their name, their email, etc., and all you've got is a little green box that pops up and says, thanks very much for sending me the email. Not good enough. It has to go to another page, okay? Another page that looks like a success page. And the advantage of that as well, guys, is that you can then track that. If you have a, someone fills out the form on your website, 
and then you've got a, an actual page that they are taken to, redirected to, you can then use your Google Analytics to track how many people have actually gone to that page. Okay, so it's really important. Now, landing page creation. Sound like a school teacher there, I didn't mean to. I just want you to make lots of money and all that kind of stuff and give some to me. Okay, landing page creation. Uh, having a landing page uh, is very important for inbound marketing. Okay, it's a way to attract someone's attention immediately. Now, actually, this is pop kettle black. You go to my website right now. We don't have the landing page. We we took it down actually, and um, just at the start of the weekend because we're moving uh, a hosting provider. So, but it's going back up again. Okay, and. Um, to, to test drive results, you need to design a page that is actionable. So I'm going to show you some landing pages that I think are good. Two examples of really optimized landing pages. The perfect landing pages is essentially one that can educate the person. You can uh, get their email from them and keep them on the site. Kissmetrics did uh, an SEO survey. Um, they do one every year. But the survey for 2007, 2016 to 2017, the two of the main ranking factors, SEO ranking factors, are number one, time on site, and number two, click through rate. Okay? So when you get to your websites, guys, make absolutely certain you've got a button at the top of your website that whenever that person lands on your page, um, you're trying to get them to click something. I know the problem is, if there's a button to click, then they won't scroll down. So, so it's just a sort of a catch thing. Okay? But especially the home page of your website, try and make sure you've got a button uh, right at the very top, above the fold where possible. Okay? Now this dude here, uh, T. Harvecker, um, anybody here T. Harvecker? He's really good, like I really like him. Um, he's one of those sort of, sort of self-help sort of guru type guys. He's quite good, I get a real kick out of watching his... Uh, videos and things. Okay, but T. Harvecker does a really good job. His landing page is excellent. There's lots of really good information on it. And I give my email address and I get targeted. So once I do, you're taken to this pretty good, uh, sorry guys, I didn't realize that I'm not uh, full okay. screen there. Okay. <coughs> um, sorry about that. Now, when you uh, sign up, go to T. Harvecker's landing page, fill in the details, you're taken to this landing page. It, it's been crafted, it's been really, really well done. Or sorry, you're taken to this thank you page. And it's not just another random thanks for, you know, giving me your email. He's feeding, his uh, Twitter feed has gone into the thank you page. And then he's also giving you more offers. So you are going to remember this guy whenever you actually give him your email. And then he uses uh, Salesforce. So also, um, to do the GDPR, you are going uh, to have to have another email anyway that they're going to have to accept. So this will then land into your inbox. So continuing on, so just a different way is to promote your products. Just the uh, Facebook, book now, and he's got his Twitter video, and again, they're, they're using a nice join feature. Okay, we get super, super engagement, guys, out of Pinterest, okay? Of course, it depends entirely on the product, but we have products, uh, we have a, a plumber, or a gas installer, um, one of his best, one of the best sources we've been able to generate traffic to his site is through Pinterest. So it's amazing what people will click. Also, uh, YouTube, just those little offers that can be integrated into a YouTube channel also can be very good, okay? Now, just the different ways here that you can promote your product, okay? So there's nothing really here I'm um, uh, going to see that's new. You've got Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, the front page of the internet, okay? Your website, the likes of banner graphics, the hero bar that will appear at the top, your pop-ups or embedded forms, okay? Create content and then just build posts with social. So I'm keen to move on, I'm conscious of time. Now, how do we actually measure measure results? Okay, so I just put this little bit in, just uh, some words, just to document. 
organic search, visits from search engines, referrals, social media, email marketing pay. So just common terms that we search for. Okay, now I'm just going to sort of quickly go, I'm not getting into like an SEO sort of thing because there's lots of guys that have done that the last couple of days, but just a few things to draw to your attention. So your SEO strategy guys, just do the keyword research, create content around the subject, that content should be either blog posts, videos, whatever. Promote that content and then earn high quality links to your content. Not as easy as it sounds, get other people to link to your content. And again, I'm going to give that little piece of uh, gold link thing in case I'm not thinking of leaving before I finish. So, create your keywords. How to get that keyword research done? So, Google's uh, descriptive search. So, you can see what I've got here. I've got iPhone water. And if I press D, the word damage will come up, damage repair, etc. These are not just random words, these are content ideas. Content ideas, guys, that I can then leverage on my website to get people onto the site and then get them into my sales funnel. Okay? Now, how do you optimize? Okay, and um, I'm just gonna go back here. Now, I'm making a big deal about this uh, 3 of one redirect. So, we use the, uh, the Yoast Premium plugin, and um, it's just, if you have some, do something really simple, like have a web page, decide to rename that web page, okay? <laughs> then, if you haven't done the redirect to the page, then all the love for that previous page is gone. Now, I believe it is really important in by marketing because one of our clients, we built a lovely strategy for them and they were working an absolute treat. They went in and they renamed their landing pages, about five of them, and they just lost everything. Everything was gone. So guys, just make sure if you're renaming your pages, make sure you're doing a 301 redirect in there, okay? And the Yoast Premium plugin will do that automatically. You've nothing to do except rename the page and it'll do it. Okay. Now, <clears throat> a general page here just on SEO. Uh, the latest new Google update. So your page titles, okay. Um, I'm sure everyone's familiar with what their page title tag is. You've got 70 characters that can go in there, okay. Um, the actual description itself, okay, you've got up to 300 words that can go in there. All this is really important to your inbound marketing strategy to get you up the rankings in Google. Now, uh, the I'm almost there, I'm gonna finish off now. Um, different types of emails, okay, that we actually send out. So, we have three types. Three types of email guides that we send out to our customer, try and get them under a buying cycle. First one is just an ordinary information email, informational email. Second one will be that transactional email. And then the final one then will be dedic a dedicated sends, emails to certain groups of people that we've really coordinated down with them. Okay. Right, now I said that I was gonna give you something, guys, that, uh, a nice little link, a nice little link. <laughs> okay. No. So I mentioned Reddit. I mentioned Reddit. Is everyone familiar with the concept of a follow and a no follow link? Does that ring a bell? Not really. A follow and a no follow link. All right. Basically, what that means is a uh, no follow link. Whenever the search engine spider goes to another website and sees your site. Uh, they ultimately are not following that link back to your site. So the whole idea is your site is in the middle and there's all these sites around it. So then the matter the spider sees these sites sitting around your site, they're going to follow the links into your site. So our challenge is to get good links. Um, and something which is, which I think is quite complex. Now, Reddit. Okay. The way that Reddit works is that all the links in Reddit are essentially no follow. So you go to Reddit, you see a story, you comment on it, okay, and you say, God, that's a really good story, and you put your link in, and that the link is no follow. So there is no value in theory. However, if you get three people to upvote the link, 
then it becomes a value, it becomes a follow link. Okay? And uh, let me just show you something here. Okay? So this is one of the guys we do some, we did, we've done training with them, we've written a strategy for them. And this was the only thing that I did on his website, and he sells prints, prints courses, prints too. So I wrote the article, I put the article into uh, our blog, and I went to Reddit, and I submitted it to Reddit, and then got the three upvotes. And it's Prince 2 Digital Projects. Yeah, as you can see, guys, I'm here in incognito mode, so I can't be tricking you into something here. So Prince 2 Digital Projects, or Managing Digital Projects, sorry. Prince 2 Managing Digital Projects. Okay, print three managing digital. So basically, I, I'm not aware of this, but lots and lots of people search for this thing, like thousands. And it's knowledge tree training. Okay, but my company is called Big Rock Designs. So what I did was I put the article on my website. So the only marketing that I did with that was I went to Reddit. I put the uh, I find somebody in Reddit who was talking about job. I find somebody in Reddit who was talking about prints, prints two. Then I uh, just commented to their article, because you have to be completely legit with everything you do in this thing. Um, I told them they love the article, I really enjoyed it. This is an article we've written, it's on our website. Um, I put the first maybe paragraph into it, and then linked it through to our website. Okay? And then I got loads of upvotes very, very quickly, and got our super duper link. Alright? So Didn't cost me a penny. You linked it to your site, not his? Yes. Uh, then in, it's called a linking ring. Then in my site, you link I link to him. Right. Okay, so that one was that one's on the house. Well, it's all on the house. It's all on the house, guys. But uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go nuts with it. But you know, do it. Check your analytics. Check where your sources of traffic are coming from, um, and integrate Reddit into your strategy. Okay. So uh, there was a bit of a marathon there at the end, or a sprint at the end, sorry. So, uh, Fred, welcome Peter. Thank you very much.